Welcome to Swipebox. Swipebox has been designed to be extremely easy and simple to use. In this video, I'll show you just how easy it is. So first off, once you've signed up for a membership in the account section, you'll be taken to your personal library. This is where all the action goes down. Let's get started. The first thing that we'll do is add a new swipe from the web. Let's say we come across a page that we want to create a swipe out of. What do we do? Take this old Gary Halbert letter, for example. The first thing that we need to do is we need to copy the full URL from the link bar, including the www and possibly the HTTPS when available. Then we go back to our personal library. We click add new and then we click from web. In the first bar, we'll type in the name that we want our swipe to have. In the second bar, we paste the full URL that we just copied. We press save and then 10 to 15 seconds later, we have a finished swipe saved in our personal library as a PDF. Perfect. What if we want to add a new swipe file, but it's from our computer instead? Again, we start out by clicking the add new button in our personal library, and then we click from computer. We click the box that says click to upload your PDF. We locate our PDF in our computer. We wait a few seconds for the PDF to be uploaded, and then we type the name that we want to save the PDF as. And there we go. It's saved in our personal library. Perfect. What if we want to edit a swipe name? We simply click the three dotted menu icon on the particular swipe that we want to edit. This will bring up this particular pop-up. And of course, we click edit name. We then just change the name to exactly what we want it to be. We click save and there we go. The name of our swipe file has been updated. Okay, but what if we actually want to export one of our PDFs? offline to our computer. What do we do? Easy. We simply click the three dotted menu icon on the particular swipe that we want to export again, and then just click export to PDF. As you can see, the PDF downloads straight to our computer. No problem. What if we have a swipe, but we actually want to share it with a friend? How do we do that? Again, we just start by clicking the three dotted menu icon of the particular swipe that we want to share. And then we just type in the email that we want to share our swipe with. And we click send. A copy of the swipe is now sent to this particular email address. Job done. Finally, what if we want to delete a swipe from our personal library? What do we do? Again, we start by clicking the three dotted menu icon on the particular swipe that we want to delete. And in the pop-up, we just click delete. Then we just confirm that we actually want to delete the swipe by pressing yes. And that's it. The file has been deleted from your personal library. Now, what if we wanted to search for a particular swipe in our library? Let's say we want to do a search for our Sykes Moneyline swipe. We just go to the search bar at the top. We just type in Sykes and there we go. The result shows up immediately. Perfect. These are the basics of Swipebox. As you can see, it's all very simple to use and very intuitive. But of course, if you ever need help or extra support, please don't hesitate to contact us using the support page in the menu sidebar. We hope you enjoy using Swipebox and get a lot of use out of it. Thank you for watching.